How'd you get on? Okay. Found a girl. I took her home. Oh. You and Mike can find anything? Maybe. I think maybe. I found our old friend, Mr. Cornwall. You did? Yeah. He's buying a stake in the mine in Annisburg. Relentlessly ambitious fella, isn't he? Mike and I'll sniff about, see if he knows we're here, and exactly what his plans are. So I found her drunk as Saint Denis. You're back. How jolly, Miss O'Shea. It's funny, you suck of shit. Back Who and are you? drunk. The master, the Lord Molly. God, all my. Calm down. I won't be ignored. Dutch Vanderlyn, I am in him. I ain't her. I ain't it, stooges. Calm yourself. You don't owe me nothing. Miss. I don't owe you nothing. Nothing. Okay. I spit in your eye. I did. I told them. I'm sorry? Yeah, I told them, and I tell them again. Now I've got God's ear. You told who? What? Mr. Middleton and Mr. Ross about the bank robbery, and I wanted them to kill you. You did what? I loved you, you goddamn bastard. Go on, shoot me. She ain't worthy. You told on me. Oh, you betrayed so me. Why? Just calm down. Arthur? <laughs> She's a fool. You know the rules. You are not so big now. Are we, Your Majesty? You take her. She knew the rules, Arthur. What the hell is wrong with you, Mr. Pearson? Mr. Williamson, get this body out of here and get it burnt. Okay. Now get back to work, all of you. Quit your lollygagging. Get back to work. There. You head in there, friend. Go on. Can I help you? Uh, I, I need a doctor. Oh, uh, just one second, sir. Come in, pal. Come in. Some help. And so it seems. <coughs> and that's Dr. Mister to you. I'm sorry. Uh, 
I was joking. Now look, friend, I don't mean nothing, but you got money? I mean, before I start treating you, because I got a family. Yeah, I understand. Here, let that do uh, Sure. Thank you. Now, what's wrong? I mean, what appear to be the symptoms? Well, I think you've heard them, and I'm coughing. Uh, is there any blood? Sometimes. Uh-huh. Okay, now here. Breathe. Again. Let me see your tongue. Now say ah. Ah. What is it? It's not good news. Well, I guess that. You got tuberculosis. I'm really sorry for you, son. It's a hell of a thing. What do you mean? You're real sick. You. It's a progressive disease. And you'll be. Now, the best thing is rest and getting somewhere warm and dry and taking it easy. Now, is that possible? Sure, I can just take my winters in my country club in California. No, it's not possible. Well, like I said, I, I'm real sorry. Yeah, well. Now, yeah, oh, wait, wait. Uh, let me get you a little bit more energy today. Any problems coming in? Nah. Guess they know now we ain't in the city. Who, Mr. Milton's friends? Yeah, they've had patrols out ever since you boys disappeared. Well, at least you're alive. For now, yeah. 
What happened in... Um... Guama? Yeah. <coughs> Nothing nice. What happened to Dutch? Because he seems... I don't know. Seems as... What began happening in Blackwater began happening years ago, maybe. A slow decline, I guess. What do you mean? I ain't quite sure. What happened here? I started gathering people up as best I could after you boys left. And John, you know that part. I do. And Hosea? So that too. Well, we got Lenny's body out as well. Out of the morgue and buried them together. Follow me. So, what's your plan here? Well, I figure before we do anything, we need to make sure John's even still at this prison. And how do we do that? We need to get up high enough to get a proper look at the place. But it's on an island, ain't it? Unless you're planning on learning how to fly. That's exactly what we're going to do. I found us a hot air balloon. You ain't serious. Now, the pilot, or whatever you call him, he thinks we're just in it for a lesson, a bit of a tour. <laughs> He's quite the character. I think you'll like him. You know, I'm impressed. You really stepped things up, ain't you? Hey, we didn't know if you was even coming back. The whole thing hit folks real hard. You can see it. Heron's gone falling fully into the bottle. Strauss is a bag of nerves. Swanson, well, Swanson's actually gone and cleaned up his act. So I guess it ain't all gone to shit. She a beauty, ain't she? From here on the ground, yes. Mr. Bullard? Hmm. Mr. Bullard. Ah, Mrs. Adler. It's good to see you. Good to see you. Ah, uh, this is my friend I told you about, Mr. Morgan. Ah, yes, Arturo Bullard. At your service, sir. At your service. Arthur Morgan. Well, it's a nice, fresh day for flying, sir. A day like today, and Icarus would have made it across the sea. Ha, ha, ha. Have you ever flown before, sir? No. Oh, it's quite a thing. Quite a thing. Now, put these on and hop in. Well, ain't she coming? Ah, well, women can't fly, sir. Are you insane? They can. Oh, no, sir. It does terrible damage to them, to their vapors. I thought everyone knew about that. Why, a delicate flower like Mrs. Adler? <laughs> Heavens above or below. Ah. Where'd you find this guy? I told you you two would get on. <clears throat> Are you sure about this? Certain, sir. Quite certain. Mrs., let us away. <clears throat> Wish us luck. I've only crashed twice. Now, uh, pull on that rope uh, and hope for the best. Ah! You boys have fun. How did you get out of this? <laughs> up, up, and away. Right. Time to catch a few vapors of our own. It's a little overcast, but I'm expecting some good wind once we're high enough. We should still have some decent views over the river. Now, one hates to be coarse, but on the subject of ablutions, liquids over the side, solids, do your utmost to levy the situation until we land. Okay, Mr. Bullard. I had a client once who fell foul to a rotten oyster on the ascent. Decidedly harrowing experience for all involved. Keep going, sir. We need to get up above the clouds. It really is stunning up there. You'll have seen nothing like it. All right, then. Let's break through these clouds. isn't it? Feels like we have a nice westerly wind, so keep her around this height. 
This particular vessel is state of the art, sir. Imported from Europe. Won't find more than a couple of these on this side of pump. So long as it works. You sure you shouldn't be doing this? Oh, not at all. A child could operate this with a little supervision. Besides, Mrs. Adler told me you were very keen to learn the ropes. We have plenty of those. She did, did she? Definitely not. I prefer slightly more feminine attire on a lady, but variety is the very spice of life, as they say. Or is it, though? Did you know they locked up the man who wrote that in a mental asylum? I did not, Mr. Bullard. See that building up ahead on the island? That's the infamous Sisica Penitentiary. Shouldn't fly too near to it, though, sir. Sorry, we're going in for a closer look. What do you mean? Mr. Morgan, please, this is most irregular. Well, you want to have your customer, don't you? Look, this isn't funny now. What on earth are you doing? The guards are bound to spot us. Calm down. They won't care if we stay high enough. I'm just looking for a friend of mine. A friend? Poor bastard has a habit of being in the wrong place at the wrong time. I heard they got him working the fields in a chain gang. Dear God. Hmm. The wind. Well, this is most unusual. Relax, Mr. Bullard. Take over. Keep us well away. I'll do my best. This filly isn't the easiest to control, you know. Nope, not there. Should we, uh, think about heading back? That's not him. Okay, he ain't by the barn. Looks like it. Oh, it's hard to tell, though. Yeah, that's him. Ah! My God! What are you doing? You're shooting at us! I can see that. Ascent! Ascent! Didn't I tell you this would happen? Oh, the wind speed is picking up. We should stay at this altitude. It's heading northwesterly, so that should take us back to land. It's coming on shaking like a leaf. All right, we're in the clear now, Mr. Bullard. Get up. Good Lord! My heart is pounding! <sighs> I must say, the specifics of this job were not described to me at all sufficiently. Well, it's done now. <laughs> Ah, there 
Miss Annisberg. Sure. Good Lord. Is that... Is that Mrs. Adler? Where? Being chased. Yes. Try to get us near. Will there be more trouble, sir? I expect so. I'm starting to rather enjoy it. Hey! Save it! Up there!
made it. That'll show them. The hell is wrong with you? I only left you an hour ago. You can't stay out of trouble for one goddamn hour. You got that poor bastard killed for his troubles. I kind of liked him. They got Colm, the government. They got Colm O'Driscoll. They're going to hang him in San Denis. Hang him? Okay. Mm -mm. He's already been tried twice for murder and found guilty. Sure, no doubt he'll escape again. No, he won't, because we're going to make sure of it. I... We have our own problems with the law, in case you ain't noticed. Dutch will want to see him swing. Sure, Dutch. He wouldn't even help us with Marston. And our situation's really messed up right now. You know how things is. Bastard's gonna swing. I'm gonna make sure of it. Closely followed by Marston. You saw him? Yes, in the fields. Okay. Then we go rescue him. <coughs> From a state penitentiary? No. But from the fields? Yes. That we can manage. It's well guarded. Guarded, sure, but not behind bars. No, it's not behind bars. So, that's how we'll do it. Bust him from his work detail. I guess. It's best just the two of us go. <coughs> the two of us is all there is, anyhow. Good, because two is all we'll need. I'll get us a bunk. The little one, and we'll sneak in and get him out of there. Meet me at Copperhead Landing. Thank you, Arthur. Whatever you say, boss. I heard that. The thing is, Sadie, I really can't. I must come. He's my husband. I insist. Insist all you like. Ain't happening. Arthur, tell her. Tell her what? She ain't coming with us to collect her husband. I... Abigail, you ain't coming. That's the end of the matter. See, there you heard him. Now let's go. But... But nothing. It'll be quicker and easier with just the two of us. Plus, John will be calmer without worrying about you. Ain't complicated. Well, why well, ain't the crime sort, but I'm real grateful. Yeah, we know you are. We'll bring him back to you. Thank you. Thank you both. All right, here goes nothing. The place is surrounded by marshland. She hopefully give us a bit of cover to move in close enough to find a spot to look for John. This time of day, prisoners will probably be working the fields. Then all we gotta do is take out all the guards and row our way out of there. Seems simple enough. Um, how many times, Marston? Okay, bring us over. <gasps> we good? Let's head for that watchtower. Okay. Stay low. Let's go over there and see. Okay, come on. I think 
think one of those guards was still moving. Arthur, let's keep moving. Where is he? You see him? No. You, <laughs> mister. You know John Marsden? I, he ain't, he ain't working today. Put the gun down, lady. No. You put the gun down. Now. <laughs> Where's John Marston? Uh, uh, he ain't in the work detail today. Okay, well, I guess we'll go uh, and get him together. Uh, uh, Try anything, I'll blow your damn head off. You clear on that? Yes, very clear. Oh, no, you don't. Come on, partner. <clears throat> Why don't you apologize to the lady for pointing a gun at her? Excuse me? I said apologize. <laughs> I'm sorry, ma'am. Ain't no harm done. So, where do we go? Towards the entrance, I guess. And who's in charge of this fine establishment? Jameson, sir. Jameson who? No, Mr. Jameson. Heston Jameson. Uh, be a nice fella? Uh, he's been quite an exacting boss at times. I look forward to meeting him. They're... they're not gonna let you do this. Well, that's gonna be up to you, my friend. So, you a popular employee, my friend? Not especially. Well, I guess we're about to find out. Someone in there actually gives a damn about this fool. Guess we'll see. We're gonna have to shoot our way out of here regardless. Hold your fire! Bastard. Okay, friend, be cool now. Just do as I say. Drop the goddamn guns! Jameson! Is Jameson in? He's in San Denis. They got Milliken. Got him and gonna kill him. Unless you bring me John Marston. Right now. You got one minute. I'm counting. One, two, three. Milliken, is it? Yes, sir. Will you count for me? I got talking to do. Yes, sir. Of course, sir. <clears throat> From one or four, How oh, very funny. Now, we must be at 11 by now. 11, 12, 13, Faster. 14, 15, 16, up! Well, this poor fool's gonna get his brain shot out. Number one. For nothing. Uh, Milliken, don't stop counting. I can't hear you. Hurry up and bring that asshole out here, you bastards. Come on. <laughs> don't cry, buddy. I don't want to die. Yeah, I know, I know. Hey, hey, John. Love you, too. Now, no funny business. Well, Mr. Milliken here will stop crying once and for all. Okay, today's your lucky day. Let's go! <laughs> Take my picture. Let's clear these and make a run for it!
need rescuing, Marston. Uh, nice to see you, Arthur. Uh, there's some fellas coming here. Don't look too friendly. We best get out of here. Come on, boss. Let's move. I'll roll. You shoot. Seriously? Let me. You... You're a better shot. All right, fine. You just relax and enjoy yourself, John. Leave the real work to them as can still handle it. Thanks. Keep them off us! I liked you better when you was all trussed up like a prize chicken. No doubt. Oh, hurry up. They're going to be on our tails soon enough if you boys keep wasting time. Oh, that's us told, Dan. Ugh. Hey, Arthur. Thank you. Don't mention it. Let's go. We should get out of here quick before the law gets wind of this. So what the hell happened in San Denis? Is Abigail all right? She's fine. Jack is too. She managed to escape when they got Hosea. Hosea? That still don't seem real somehow. All them years. Arthur. He was like... Like family. Yeah, we lost young Lenny too. No. What a goddamn mess. And then we... What about the, the money? Lost somewhere at the bottom of the ocean. What? How the hell did that happen? We hit on a boat. It's the only way out of there. The boat went down in a storm, and we ended up stranded on an island somewhere near Cuba. Cuba? Wait. You're gonna have to tell me all this again. It's a long story, but things ain't been good, John. <laughs> You're telling me. We're holed up now in the mountains to the north, near Roanoke Ridge, and some caves there. The Pinkertons caught up with us again, and we had to move. Yeah, seems Molly ranted us out, the bitch. So she's dead, too. Jesus. Maybe you should have just left me to hang. And... Uh, I should warn you, Dutch didn't want us breaking you out. Said it wasn't the right time, so... Might not be the hero's welcome you're imagining. So much for no man left behind. I can't stop thinking about this. In the bank, when they grabbed me, he saw it. Felt almost like he had a, a moment to do something and didn't. Dutch ain't himself right now. Or... Maybe he just ain't who we thought he was. Guess we don't need to worry about who's his favorite no more. Huh. Guess not. We told you we would. John! What are you doing here? It's good to see you too, partner. I meant I hadn't sent for you yet. I went. But I said that. Yeah, I know what you said. I felt different. Is that so? Yes. And? When Spring and John brings the law down on all of us, what then, Arthur? Well, I guess we'll have another fight on our hands. Loyalty, Arthur, it ain't. I had a goddamn plan! John! John, you are my brother. You are my son. I was coming for you. They... 
They was talking to hanging me, Dutch. They was talking. They was talking. And now they may come and hang us all. Oh, sorry. I was miles away, thinking of, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Dutch said to tell you he and Mike have gone to Annisburg. Something about Mr. Cornwall. Cornwall. Okay. Thanks, Mary Beth. So good. What is wrong with you? Nothing wrong with me. I'm fit as a fiddle. And I ain't side you, ain't. I'm just a realist, friend. Michael reckons there's a rat. Oh, does he? On what evidence? He's only back a minute. Pinkerton show up. <laughs> We've been on the run since you two fools went crazy in Blackwater. We barely escaped with our lives in Saint Denis. Now we got a rat. Well, Molly clearly talked, but who else? Maybe we pushed things too hard. Oh. Maybe time for folks like us is past. We don't need a rat. We got sloppier than the town drunk, and they know who we are, and where we are, and what we're doing. The way I see it, the best thing we can do is let the week go. Move on, get our money, and start over. That ain't happening. Well, something's gotta happen, and fast. Otherwise, Cornwall, them Pinkertons, they've got us panned in here, and ain't none of them stopping. Well, Cornwall's why we're here. Shall we, Dutch? Yeah, it's time to go. Let's head to the river. Oh, leave Cornwall alone. He ain't. <laughs> we need money, but revenge? Now? Of course it's for money. Come on, Arthur. This better not be no stupid revenge mission, Dutch. It ain't worth it. Don't be ridiculous. Oh, Arthur, it's just a simple social call. <laughs> <laughs> So, what are we going to say to him that needs to be said? He has been hunting us since Valentine. He is the reason that Hosea got killed. His sugar business is destroying the people of Guarma. This town, Arthur, is his town. He bought it just to destroy these folks. His sugar, his oil, his law. These are wrongs that you can't right, Dutch. We're wanted men. <laughs> so why did you go for John against my wishes? I didn't want him hanged. Neither did I. We're gonna cut a deal, Arthur. What are you talking about? We want out, and Cornwall wants us to stop robbing him, and we all know his money is what's keeping the Pinkertons on our tail. He's America, Arthur. And I want out, and he... He won't let us go. This ain't making a lot of sense, Dutch. It will, son. It will. A deal, some noise, and then we're gone. Cornwall's boat is due in soon. Let's get down here behind these crates.
to thank you for your hospitality, Mr. Cornwall. This was a business meeting, Mr. Milton. We are not friends. I have spent a considerable fortune with your agency and still nothing. This Vanderlyn robs me and laughs at me. I asked for the best. I paid for the best. We are very close, Mr. Cornwall. I know you've heard this before. Can't, sir. Send a telegram to Goldberg in New York. Tell him I won't borrow it more than 3.2%. Sorry, no, I have heard it before. And get that army man to pay his portage charge. Yes, sir. We are doing all we can within the confines of the law. The law? I think we both know what you can do with your law. Find me Dutch Vanderland. Bring him here and leave the laws to them as need them. Good day, sir. Come along, Mr. Ross. We have work to do. Mr. Dinsbury. Mr. Cornwall. Now listen up, Dinsbury. What's all this about strikes? I bought into this mine because of mismanagement. And I intend to make it a success, no matter what the cost. It's the wages. Folk feel Folk that you... feel? Business doesn't give two figs about feelings, sir. Not two figs. It's a nonsense that will bring a plague on both our houses, sir. Perhaps there is a plague on your house already, Mr. Cornwall. What do you want, sir? I'm not quite sure just yet. Your impudence will be your undoing, sir. I'm undone already. Even my best friend here, he thinks I'm crazy. And like this poor fellow you are talking to, my feelings are hurt. You robbed me, sir. And you robbed him. Funny world. You show a criminal's grasp of sophistry, sir. I did no such thing. You kill. I kill. You rob. I rob. Only difference I can see is I choose whom I kill and rob and you destroy everything in your path. I've heard just about enough. I'll tell you what. You give me this ship, $10,000, and safe passage out of here, I'll let you live. <laughs> I'll do no such thing. <laughs> you sure? Good. I prefer it this way. You lost your land. Noise, Arthur. No voice. Now we're gonna be 
passes from that coach! Let's go! Well, at least we tried talking it out. Boys, lost your minds. Oh, I've felt a lot of guilt in this life, Arthur. I've killed too often and poorly, but not this time, son. Come on! All right, let's head for the hills, boys. They're trying to block us off. Go right! Social call. Oh, don't play dumb and superior at the same time, Morgan. We all knew sooner or later Cornwall had to go. Let me see them papers. It's more attention we don't need. Feels like the whole world's closing in on us. Dutch, it won't be long before they find where we're hiding out now. Especially as we ain't exactly hiding out. We just need a distraction. Buy us some time. It looks like Mr. Cornwall's company has signed a railroad contract with the Army. And they're also moving dynamite down from, well, the Annisburg mines to San Denis to resell. And there's bonds at his oil factory. Maybe there's a way to get them off our back and get the money that we need. Mike. You look into this dynamite. Take Bill, I guess, Arthur. You go, too. We are going to need a lot of it. And, Mike, we need to talk. Figure out some things. Of course, boss. Figure out what? The plan. Getting out of here. Nothing's changed. It hasn't, huh? There's an old house west of Van Horn. Meet me there when you can, Black Lung. Let's split up. We'll meet up back at camp. Yeah. <coughs> Reverend, you okay, Mr. Morgan? I don't know, Reverend. These are challenging times for all of us. Yes, very challenging. You don't seem yourself somehow. I, I've always felt... I've left the morphine, sir. Arthur, I'm Reverend Swanson, would you excuse us a minute? Of course. New York. We are going to go to New York. Now, they have been chasing us south and east and west. We're going to get a boat. We're going to get on a river, and we're going to go north. New York. Then Tahiti, the Fiji Islands, or this place, New Guinea, dancing girls, freedom. But first, we have to make a whole lot of smoke, a whole lot of... Commotion. And then we disappear. We need more commotion. One score and one whole hell of a lot of noise. We ain't so good at doing scores anymore, Dutch. Are you feeling all right, Arthur? Sure, I'm fine. Pardon me for interrupting. I brought a friend, Arthur. Hello. Hello. Dutch. This is Eagle Flash. His father is a great chief. Charles and I, we, um, pretended to be mercenaries. Did me a great favor. 
Judge Vanderlyn, how do you do? Not well, sir. Well, I am sorry to hear that. How's your father? Father is confused. Wisdom with weakness. His people, my people, we've suffered too much, been lied to too much. Now they've taken our horses. Who? The infantry division posted at Fort Wallace. Why? Colonel Favors is a liar and a murderer. His people won't stop until we're all dead. Without horses, we cannot hunt. Without hunting, we will starve. This is another act of war. I see that. The men have helped me before, and I have money. Put your money away, son. What do you think, Charles? You know, I told your father I will not fight over some horses. But I made no such promise. Come along. Arthur, we must go with them and try to stop things from getting out of hand. I guess. Come along. We can get them more horses. I know. I understand Eagle Flies is angry, but I don't see how this will help anything. Especially not with Dutch whipping them up into a frenzy. We've got enough folks coming after us. Well, I don't know. Will this walk all over you? No, you're not. This is all that's wrong with this world. Okay, young man, lead the way. The horses are on a boat near Van Horn. I have a man waiting for us there with some canoes. Surely this could be done without killing anyone. Of course. What will be, will be. Anyway, son, tell me about this Colonel Favors. He's a vile man. He and his regiment take pleasure in persecuting us. All the young have been taken from our reservation shipped off to reform schools. Many women, too. The older are weak and sick, but they deliberately withhold medicine and supplies from us. This ends today. You have my word on that. Why are you getting involved in this, Dutch? You know me. We shoot fellers as need shooting. We save fellers as need saving. Feed them as need feeding. Not this again. It's been quite a while since we helped anyone but ourselves, and even you know that. I told you, noise. We need noise, Arthur. Noise and faith. I still don't know what that means. Stop questioning and think. Just think. For a second, the Pinkertons have had time to reinforce. The civilized world is closing on us. Who knows what else Molly told them? We need to move towards a conclusion now. Sure, but what's this got to do with any of that? Some good, honest conflict between the Army and the Indians might be just the distraction we need. Kill two birds with one stone. Cornwall was funding the Pinkertons' assault on us. Why do you think I dealt with them? With Cornwall gone, the government is far more likely to divert them to other issues, especially if there's one more scandal. And then we can slip away. Like I said, we just need that noise and one more score. You know, I went back for the chest I had hidden outside Shady Bell. And we're close, Arthur. That dynamite, the railroad contract with the army, it was all in those papers Mike had found. I have a plan. You just have to trust me. Yep. There's Peta. These men, like I said, they'll help us. I got the canoes. The boat is still moored in the channel. Good. Let's wait until nightfall. All right. Let's head out. We 
need to get that boat ashore. I think the best plan is to paddle up there silently, board her. Then when we got control, we'll deal with that anchor and float away. We'll be ashore before anybody even knows what happened. Try not to kill anyone, Arthur. I'm gonna go smoke, all right? Be back in a bit. Oh! oh yeah. Had a sniff of good head all night. I'll be retired in the morning at this rate. Just a year. Seems like Uncle Sam likes you fellas even less than he likes us. So it goes. It's fun that he doesn't want to fight again. Will one of you help me return the horses to my men? Well, Arthur will... Oh, Arthur needs to rest. I will. I like you, son. 
And after the horses, are we going to wait for the army to come and wreak its revenge? I hope not. Of course we ain't. Now let's go check out that fort of theirs. Is this a good idea? This is the only idea. And it is one that will suit both of our purposes. Finding the army ain't why. Stop worrying. Oh, and Sadie told me about Cone. Meet us at Doyle's Tavern in San Denis when you can. Shall we go, son? Certainly. We'll start some light reconnaissance out at Fort Wallace, and when Combs dealt with, you come meet us there. We'll set up a good spot for you. I don't know, Dutch. Yeah, well, I do. This is exactly the distraction that we need. Your father said that fighting was an impossible gamble. There's no winning for you in this. Your father need not know anything. He'd rather live in ignorance. Come along, Jeff. Your father would rather you did not do anything so foolish. I said I would stop this from happening. Would you talk to him? Speak with Rageful. Yes. Would you? Sure. Oh. I'll speak with him. You head on back to camp, check on the others, touch his behavior. I understand. Thank you, Arthur. There he is, old Black Lung Morgan. Shut up. Was you followed? Excuse me? Was you followed? Do you know who you're talking I to? I ain't sure. I ain't sure about much no more. All I know is there's law whenever you're around. Is that so? Because it seems to me that since you've been riding with us, there ain't been nothing but trouble. Stirring things up all the time, getting in Dutch's ear. She's wherever you is, there's Pinkertons and vice versa. So you better watch your goddamn mouth, boy. <laughs> or... <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy, cowboy. You're gonna do yourself a mischief, way your head. Micah, shut it. He started it. <sighs> Dutch says we is to go on with plans to create a diversion. We gotta get some explosives to blow up the bridge. Keep the army out of here a few days. I think it's a real bad idea. I don't think Dutch cares too much what you think. That's clear. We gotta confuse him one last time. Then he and I will head to Blackwater, collect the money, and help everyone leave. He's got a boat lined up. Blackwater's a fool's errand. Everyone knows it. Even a greedy moron like you. It's Dutch's choice, Arthur. You're just a senior gun, same as the rest of us. Only you ain't well. I'm fine. Then you'll do Dutch's bidding, which is robbing a stage that's coming from Annisburg full of explosives. Rob a stage. All we seem to ever do is rob a stage, you and me. Not me, you two. I got my own planning to do. You boys got this shit. Yes, we have. Come on, Arthur. And Cowpoke, take it easy. You could do with a vacation, hmm? <coughs> All right, let's go. Whoa, have fun, boy. Marcus says we should jump it as soon as it comes through Van Horn. So you're taking orders from him now? I'm taking orders from Dutch, same as always. Hey, hold up a second. Pinkerton Patrol, over there. Whoa! whoa. Okay, I think we're clear. Let's head off. So, you was just talking about something. A pair of them are becoming unhinged. You hear about Dutch killing Cornwall? Well, that needed to be done. Right now? With the Pinkertons breathing down our necks? See, I'm starting to think that you've gone soft, Morgan. Okay. Let's hold up here. So, wagon will be coming from that way. Down from Annisburg. It'll take the two of us to stop it completely, or it'll never get done. So, I was thinking, you go play dead. I'll take care. <laughs> no, I'm the better shot, and you, you're the better actor. Well, you play dead, and I'll cover you. I got that. I got that. Oh, that's them coming now, I think. It'll be quite the show. Thank <laughs> you.
place. These people. Move, you idiot! Move! Come on, let's get you out of... us over to Bacchus Bridge, get it hidden near there. He really does think Bill, he's in charge. you go on ahead. I need to speak with Arthur. Good work, son. What's going on? Listen, I know we ain't always seeing eye to eye, and uh, you find me irritating and a threat, and I like to annoy you. But right now, I need better from you, Arthur. Okay, Micah. Whatever you say. I ain't the bad guy you think I am, Arthur. But I am a survivor. Stick with me and you'll live. Oh, the bridge is probably a two-man job. You should probably go help Marston. Why don't you? Like I said, Dutch and I got planning to do for the train. There's a big picture here, Arthur. Trust me. Arthur. How you doing? Nervous, but I've been nervous for a while. 
I had a lot of time to think in that jail, and I feel like I just don't know Dutch no more. You ain't the only one. And this plan to get us out, it just feels, I don't know. Like he's stringing us along, I know. Killing in cold blood, revenge, we all do bad things, but he seems to enjoy it now. It's like he just wants to create more enemies, more chaos. Yeah, I know. I mean, I love Dutch. He saved me a long time ago. I feel like in San Denis, when I got arrested, maybe he could have done something. I feel like you should take your woman and child and get lost. Do you? You can, uh, you could give something to Jack. Hey, Stider. Well, I don't see no way out of this. Well, what about loyalty? Be loyal to what matters. What are you gonna do? <laughs> I'll be okay, but do it for me. Hey, it would make me feel good, if that makes any sense. A little, but listen to me. When the time comes, you gotta run and don't look back. This is over. And now? Now we gotta help Dutch give the army one final tweak on his nose. <laughs> yeah, come on. Help me with the rest of this. <sighs> well, it looks like we finally found our calling in life. this thing out onto the bridge. There's a spot about a third of the way across where we can get down underneath to plant the charges. I've already set up the detonator. Joe, let's get this over with. You hear about Dutch and Cornwall? Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. More enemies, more chaos. I mean, all right, stop. It's good. <sighs> we sure got a lot of this stuff. We'll need it. I'll climb down there and you lower the crates. All right. Let me know when you're ready. Got it? Ready when you are. There's good. Lower it down. OK, start lowering it down. All right, take it slow. That's not something we want to drop. OK, good. Grab the other one. I'm at the bottom of the ladder, here to your left. Start lowering it, Arthur. Nice and easy. from the box. The bridge is wired to the detonator. We need to attach each of those bundles to the fuses. There's one on each of the main support beams. Okay. I sure hope this is enough to blow it. These are mining charges. They ain't easy to come by. If they don't do the job, nothing will. Thank you. 
up here quick! Go blow this thing up. Um, I think the line held. You want the honors? Sure. Attention away from us? I guess we'll see. Tell the truth, I ain't even sure I fully understand Dutch's plan with all this. Like I said, John, when the time comes, you go. What about loyalty to, to everything? You've been loyal. I've been loyal. Look what that caused. You know, all that ever mattered to me was loyalty. It was all I knew. It's all I ever believed in. Well, not anymore, John. Soon, you gotta go. Go. But don't look back. I'll think about it. I've done a lot of thinking. Look at us. Out here risking our necks and for what exactly? For an idea that don't work no more. How you mean? You know just what I mean. You got a family. You need cash. You need to start building a life for yourself. Me? I need a vacation. And Dutch has all the money for safekeeping. You know something? Abigail thinks she might know where some of that money is. Well, you tell her she better make sure. And then come talk to me. And we'll find out just who and what we should be loyal to. I don't know, Arthur. Nor do I. But I'm seeing things a lot more clearly now. I wish things were different. But it weren't us who changed. sound very well. I'm not. I'm, I think I'm dying. Then I hope you find peace. Well, I don't know too much about peace. Apparently not. Did you have fun with my son, the impetuous prince? 
I believe you went on a raid with him. Um, uh, I'm sorry. I suppose I lack the grandeur of a conventional king. I don't know too many kings. Colonel Favors. He has already exacted some measure of revenge for the raid. Two women were assaulted by his men. Um, I'm very sorry about all of this. Yes. Sometimes the correct path, the bravest path, is the least obvious and also the gentlest. I'm... I'm a great disappointment to my son. Your son seems to want a war. My son thinks there is glory in death. Maybe he's right. But for me, I saw death being handed out so freely by the most foolish of men, I never could equate it with victory. Glory has come in service. Maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. I've killed a lot of people for a whole lot of dumb reasons, and I ain't never seen much glory in it. Well, your friend, Mr. Vanderlyn, he talks a lot. I don't know him, but my son is easily lit. I'm not sure I get you. Uh, well, perhaps we could go for a ride. I'm an old man. My whole life I have tried to bring peace. But uh, I ain't doing so good. Then maybe you can take pity on my plight. Please, it won't take long. <coughs> and maybe I can help you with that cough. Sir! I'm glad I caught you, sir. Captain Monroe, do you know my friend, Mr. Morgan? No, sir. I don't have the pleasure. Arthur Morgan. It's an honor, sir. How can I help you, Captain? I was just in San Denis. I spoke with the mayor. It's not good news, I'm afraid. May I ride with you for a little? Of course. Follow me. So where are we going? I want to show you a site up in the mountains that's long been sacred to me. A place for reflection and healing. Passing What is this news, Captain Monroe? Yes, sir. As I mentioned, I did speak again with the mayor and the Bureau of Indian Affairs in San Denis at length. But regrettably, it appears the oil company has already received approval to move forward with drilling on the reservation's land. I suppose there's much. So what does that mean for us now? I'm not sure just yet. I didn't get the impression anything would be happening for a few months. I'm very sorry, sir. I did everything I could. I know, Captain. And I assure you I will continue to do as much as I can. Mr. Morgan, would you have time to help me at all? I would rather certain actions were taken by friends outside the tribe. Sure, I can help. That's good news. Thank you. Come meet me on the reservation whenever you can. I'm sorry to be forward, but there's so much to be done. See? What's left of that bridge over there? I heard about it being destroyed. Do you know if that was also my son's doing? No, I'm pretty sure he had nothing to do with that one. Well, I fear they will find a way to blame it on us anyway. See the wolves over there feasting on that horse? Brutality and beauty are both all around us. Yet so often we're unable to see past our own grievances. This is what I try to teach my son. Yeah. Anyway, gentlemen, oh, yeah. I won't take up any more of your time. I'll see you both soon. Sure. Thank you, Captain. Join the ride. Mr. Morgan, please, leave them. We can talk if you want, Mr. Morgan. But don't feel like you have to. It's a beautiful ride ahead if you need some time to think. Easy. Yeah. How much you know about Dutch? A little. Mostly what... Sorry, uh, hold up a moment. That will have to wait. Some of the plants I need will be growing down here.
Charles told me. For years. He was the best man I knew. But... Well, he's been unraveling for some time now, and... I ain't sure there's any going back at this point. It took a long time for me to learn that you could never change a person. We only become more of who we really are. Perhaps you see that with him, just as I see it with my son. Dutch has got this crazy plan that if we create enough noise and chaos, we'll be able to escape and go somewhere far away where no one will find us. I worry a lot of folks are gonna get caught in the crossfire, including eagle flies. So what can we do? I ain't quite sure. Just wanted you to know the situation. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Let me give this some thought. Wait, stop here. I want to pick some ginseng. in your saddlebag. Mix these together. They taste awful, but it'll help to keep your strength up. All right, let's go. It's not much further now. Signed here from a regiment in the north. Apparently, the news of our conflict has spread all the way to Washington. He's a good man. He wants to help. Well, I guess that's something, at least. The army aren't all bad men. Just as my people aren't all good. But this colonel favors. He walks an old line. He's obstinate. It's just up ahead. Ah! Whoa! What's happened? No! It can't be! No! They destroyed everything! No, I just need to find the Chinupa. Who, who would do this? Someone who wanted to enrage you. Help me look around. Put... The Tanupa is gone. Of course. What is it? A uh, ceremonial pipe. There must be some clues to what happened here. Sure looks like they was doing some drinking. Look there. Smoke. Huh? 
Do you have any binoculars? Oh, there they are. These brave men. Some of Colonel Favor's men. They must have been the ones who did this. Are you surprised this happened? Not at all. But... I hope we were past this. Well, you got land they want. Land with oil. They moved us here. They've taken everything we had. I signed three treaties myself, and they've broken each one. Now they've taken the last hope. Now my people are going to want a war. A war they can't win. Not if I get it back. Get it back? Yeah, I'm gonna go in, get your chin up, I know I'll be any the wiser. Would you do that? Well, you can't go, they know why you'd come. I, uh... Don't have any money. No, I don't need your money. Please see if they have our sacred items. But try not to hurt anyone. I'll try to ensure that they never even know I'm there, but... I... Here, I, uh, I got your things, I, I think. Yes, thank you. I'm very sorry about this. Even sacred things are only things. People, the heart, matter more. Was anyone hurt? Yes. It's a bad business. I should not have let you do this for me. But perhaps it will stop a bigger massacre. With these, maybe I can calm my people. Maybe I can calm my son. I hope so. Thank you. Take those herbs I gave you, please. And most of all, I hope you can find peace within yourself. He's a man who, not so long ago, I would have found weak and pathetic. Now I see as wise and thoughtful and sensible. 
I would love to help him. Or at least stop Dutch pushing his son to do something real stupid. <laughs>